I'm gonna do this video with a beer, but it's way too cold for that. So good hot coffee in the Yeti mug is the way forward. So guys, welcome back to the last video of 2020. It's just before Christmas, and I think it's fair to say that 2020 has been a year that none of us are gonna to forget too quickly. Uh, started off fine, January, February, wasn't too bad. March, everything went peak tong. Uh, so obviously the pandemic scuppered a lot of things, but I like to consider myself a bit of an optimist and I tend to look at things and look for the positive things in it rather than the negative. Lord knows there is a lot of negatives about the year, but it was great to see a lot of people getting into cooking outdoors and cooking on their barbecues. Uh, I don't think we've seen a year like it recently with so many new people getting out there and cooking. I appreciate the hardships that that caused for the hospitality industry and stuff. And if you can, safely go and support them where you can. But it's great to see people uh, getting an interest and cooking for themselves as well. I think it's something that everybody should be able to do in some way, shape or form. And with that huge surge in interest, the barbecue community did what it does best and welcomed everybody with open arms. Uh, it was great seeing everybody lending their little bit of expertise and passing it on to those that were just starting out. Personally, looking back to the first lockdown, uh, it gave me a chance then to start live streaming on the channel. And whilst that didn't continue after lockdown, it is something that kind of has sparked an interest in me and I do want to do it more next year. I think it's also fair to say that most of us have probably cooked more this year than we have in any other year. But, but at this time of the year, I always like to look back across everything I've done in the year. I'm one of these guys that makes lists of stuff I want to achieve uh, next year. I wouldn't call them New Year's resolutions, but I'll certainly note down things that I'm interested in and I want to learn more about. And when I look back through what I cooked in 2020, it kind of bummed me out a little bit to say there wasn't that much different in there. I, know I did a lot of cooking, I cooked a lot of nice stuff, but I can't honestly say I pushed myself that hard. Now, certainly there were a few cooks in there that were nice and tasty. Uh, they were a little bit different than what I'd done before, but if I look back to the start of 2020, I told myself I was gonna push my cooking this year and learn new things. And I can honestly say I have done a few different things, but I haven't really pushed myself as far as I wanted to. So as we near the end of 2020, we're not entirely sure what 2021 is gonna hold for us. There is one thing I am starting next year and I wanna bring you guys along with me. So you might notice down there, there is a new button beside the subscribe button, which says join. So I have started channel memberships. Now you might be thinking, what has that got to do with you cooking more this year? Uh, but all will be revealed shortly. The channel memberships, for those that don't know, is like a monthly subscription uh, where you pay a little bit of money and it gets you access to sort of exclusive perks and things like that there from my channel. Now, the channel has been going for a long time and I feel I've been slowly progressing, but I've kind of hit that point where it's ready to go to the next level and there's a lot of expense involved in it and there's a lot of time put into it and effort and love and I love making the videos. Uh, so that monthly subscription is only going to help me make more videos for you guys and in 2021 I'll be putting out two videos a week uh, right through the year. So your subscriptions or monthly memberships are going to help me uh, improve the videos to another level, help me do more videos and hopefully do more videos that you guys want to see. But it's not all about you giving to me, it's about me giving back to you and that is where the perks come in. So when you click that join button you'll see the challenger membership level uh, that you can sign up for. And that gets you cool little things, you'll get a badge by your name so anytime you comment on any of my videos or if you're in any of the live stream chats you will have a badge by your name to show that you are a challenger member. You also get access to custom emojis that you can use on the comment section and live streams as well. But those are just the nifty little things. The main thing is going to be food challenges. So as I said, I want to cook more this year. I want to try things I've never tried before. And I feel that I need something to keep me accountable to it. Uh, and I thought you guys might want to come along with me. So we're going to get you guys into my Discord group and once a month we're going to do food challenges in there so I'll post a video where we will randomly draw a prompt word. Now this takes it out of my control because if it was just me I would do something that I thought might be easier and won't push me that often 
So I have put loads of words in there and stuff that I am terrified of cooking. I don't really want to cook, but I feel like I have to. So at the start of each month, we will spin the wheel, see what word comes up, and then we have to take that prompt and interpret it in our own way and produce one plate of food. Then everyone taking part in the challenge will post their entry into the Discord channel and uh, I'll do a video and then at the end of the month uh, talking through everybody's cooks, what I liked about them, what I thought they'd done very well uh, and then we'll choose the next month's challenge. And the Discord group as well is uh, full of guys in there that are cooking every week and they share tips and advice with each other, they talk about gear, they talk about barbecue, they talk about what they're cooking, what they want to cook, uh, they talk about a lot of other stuff that isn't barbecue related but we'll not talk about that for now. Uh, but there are a great bunch of guys in there and as a member you'll get access to that and that's where we're running the food challenges from. Now I want to finish this off by saying if you can't afford the membership don't worry about it, uh, nothing is going to change on the channel. As I said we're moving to two videos a week uh, next year. Those two videos a week will remain for everyone to see, there's no not put behind a paywall, that's not what this is about. Uh, this is just about a group of people being held accountable and hopefully helping to push the channel forward and everyone's cooking. So if you want to find out a little bit more about it, there's another video you can watch uh, down in that join button. Click on that and if you can become a member and we are kicking off food challenges in January. Uh, so you can get in, meet all the guys in the group and get settled in before we get things started. Mm. So all that is left to say is to you and yours have a great Christmas and a happy new year. I will be back in January to kick off with more videos, more series, big plans for 2021 involving this place and also we're bringing back uh, an old favourite series that we used to do a while ago. So to make sure you don't miss out, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in January.